Hi there, and welcome to my day of Barbie, which gives me just an amazing excuse to wear all kinds of pink, which I love. In today's video, it's going to be as much about Margot Robbie and her diet in preparation for her role as Barbie as it is about Barbie herself because she has had a huge, huge impact on the world, as shocking as that might even sound to you. Barbie was first introduced to us in March 9th of 1959, so she's even a little bit older than me. She's 63 now, and she was born Barbara Millicent Roberts and her mother, the creator, Ruth Handler, was actually one of Mattel's co-founders' wife. And she found an, a doll in Germany called Bill Lilly, which was actually marketed to adults. She was a bit of a racy kind of a girl. And she, she found it, she thought that there was a niche for that in the US and boy, was she right. Going now to Margot, Elise, Robbie, she was born in July of 1990 in Australia. So she is 32 now. And she has also made a huge impact and she has been really in the forefront as, and she is really gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. Came to fame in The Wolf of Wall Street um, opposite Leonardo DiCaprio, but she was a long running star in an Australian soap opera called Neighbors. And since then, she's been then in Tarzan, Suicide Squad, Whiskey Tango, Foxtrot, among many, many other things that she has been in. So there has been much in the press about the strict diet that Margot Robbie has been on in order to play Barbie in the movie opposite Ryan Gosling, which is set to be released really soon. So I started to wonder what is strict, like she already looks like in amazing shape. She is uh, five feet six or 168 centimeters and um, 126 pounds or 53 kilograms. So she's quite a bit shorter than how Barbie would translate. So she was about 11 and a half inches tall, which would translate to a five nine. Uh, her weight was 110 pounds and her waist was a very unattainable 18 inches and a 33 inch hip. Now Margot Robbie, as I said, there's been much in the news about her diet and they're saying strict, strict, low carb, no sweets. Let's get into the kitchen and start with Margot Robbie's Barbie diet breakfast. Breakfast is not looking too, too exciting, but don't worry, she does have a really good mid-morning snack. So I've got a third of a cup of oatmeal and I've got about a half a cup of blueberries, which I'm going to put in the microwave. Uh, you might remember that my breakfast of oatmeal is a whole lot more than this. But I'm not complaining. We've got our oatmeal, our porridge, and I've got about half a cup of blueberries. It doesn't look too exciting. There's no mention of yogurt or cinnamon. The other thing is she is hooked on green tea. Apparently drinks green tea all day long, never without it. Margot Robbie has been critically acclaimed in a variety of different uh, things, two Academy Award nominations, three Golden Globes, and actually five British Academy Awards. So that's really saying something. She's been married since 2016 to Tom Ackerley, who's um, from England, and he's a producer and they co-founded a production company called Lucky Chap. And I think by the looks of Margot Robbie, he is one lucky chap. I'm gonna have this and um, we're gonna go out then to get our part two of breakfast, which I'm gonna get outside of our house. And we'll see you then. It's time for the mid-morning immune boosting smoothie. She specifically mentions kale and apple. So I'm gonna get that and see how that is. I'm gonna add, she hasn't mentioned this, but I am definitely adding a scoop of protein powder because with just the oatmeal and a half a cup of blueberries, I'm feeling kind of hungry and I've had no protein yet, so let's go. 
smoothie acquired. I've got the Tropicale, kale, apple, pineapple, um, mango. I took the smaller size because I added the protein. So this one is 140, 140 calories, but I added a scoop of protein with for 21 grams of protein and um, 110 calories. So 250 calories and let's give it a try. Tastes lovely, really nice, fresh. I've, I've never been a smoothie person. You might've seen that when I followed uh, JLo's diet for the day, but it's really good. And, but you know, I was kind of hungry. So let's go home and work out. Margot Robbie is not a gym rat. She doesn't even like lifting weights. What she does do when she's preparing for a role is she likes to box. So I thought, well, why not box? Because I have pink boxing gloves. Of course I do. I'm gonna use my Peloton and I thought that we'll just do a 20 minute Iron Maiden boxing boot camp and see what that's all about. We're gonna move on from that. When she's done that, she likes Pilates. So let's start with boxing boot camp. My husband, who boxes, thinks I'm hilarious. I'm doing it exactly as she is. All right, so that was boxing boot camp. What she says in her information that I researched is as opposed to being a gym rat, what she likes to do when she's not preparing for a role is to just do things that she loves, which are dance, she loves dance class, and she loves tennis. So those are two really good cardio uh, things that she can do. She sounds like she just likes to have fun, like doing the things that she likes to do as opposed to um, a specific gym routine. So I'm gonna try to find a Pilates workout now. And how are you? We got Ali Love here. Welcome. And we're gonna do Pilates. So I could clearly use a whole lot more of this Zen because I actually have a hard time doing that. It's very slow motion for me. The other thing that I want to tell you was when I spoke about Margot Robbie liking to do things, it reminded me that when I found out that she was also in I, Tanya, the very critically acclaimed movie, and I wondered, is she a skater? And she is a skater. She played hockey, amateur hockey. She played right wing. So she must actually be a fabulous skater. So that's another kind of, she just seems to be involved in being active, which is a whole lot of fun and likes to have fun getting her workouts in that way. Now it's time for lunch. So let's go put that together. I've got about a six ounce chicken breast here. I got 10 grams of uh, slivered almonds, which it was just, I kind of winged it, but she had no fat so far today. And I'm gonna just use the skinny girl dressing. Lunch is served. And we're back at it with the green tea. And I wondered, it said in my research that she just fell in love with green tea and now drinks it all throughout the day. And I'm wondering if she just fell in love with it and just drinks it because she likes it or because there are so many possible health benefits to green tea. And those benefits are they improve your brain function, believed to improve your brain function, increase fat burning, have full of antioxidants, which may protect you from some cancers. Um, there's a bioactive compound in green tea that is believed to help with inflammation and also again, protect you from certain cancers. Um, protects our brain from aging and we all really need that. It potentially can clear you of bad breath. Also can help prevent type two diabetes uh, helps prevent cardiovascular disease, may help you uh, lose weight by helping to uh, raise your metabolism for sh in the short term. And in fact, it may help you to live longer. There have been studies showing that uh, there is an increase in age or living longer for people that are drinking green tea. So I think those are a lot of things that sounds like it's worthwhile. All together here, I've got about a six ounce chicken breast, I've got some almonds, and perfectly good lunch, nothing to complain about here. And it's dinner time. And you know what? I am starving. Like, this is, this is not much food. 
you might be thinking, how much pink clothing does that woman have? And you'd be right. I have kind of a lot of pink clothing. So I've got a medium sweet potato, which I've actually put in the air fryer, and I've got a five ounce tuna steak. And that's all that it says in her diet that I've researched. We're only talking like just over a thousand calories today or around about a thousand calories today and only around 10 grams of fat, which is way too low. So I'm thinking maybe she had olive oil and stuff on that salad at lunchtime. First of all, we know that she didn't need to lose weight at all. Obviously they want her even thinner for the Barbie roll. There is some negativity that has been surrounding Barbie. There has been over the years worry about the Barbie effect or Barbie syndrome. But remember, it is a doll. Mattel actually has addressed that over the years. Uh, in the 90s, they changed Barbie's proportion, made her waist bigger, a little bit more realistic. And, um, you know, that has satisfied some, but there's always going to be controversy surrounding that. Getting back to Margot Robbie, they clearly want her on the very lean side for this roll that's coming up. I'm gonna just tuck into this and see how this is. I love sweet potatoes. I love tuna. And of course, I'm guzzling my green tea still. You don't think that I could have left that store and not bought something. So I did bring this little number home with me. And I tell you, I have had such a fun time with this whole Barbie thing. I think I've had a lot more fun than Margot Robbie has had with no sweets and basically no carbs. I want to look to the positive. And I think there have been a lot of wonderful things and role models that Barbie has portrayed. In 1963, she was a career woman when most women stayed at home. By 1965, she was an astronaut. In 1973, she was a surgeon, Surgeon Barbie. In 1992, President Barbie. There has still never been a female president. In the 1980s, she was a police officer and a firefighter. In 2010, she was a computer engineer. She's been an architect. You know what, you kind of get the idea. So there's a whole lot that she's done. The other interesting fun fact I just want to mention is Ruth Handler, who developed Barbie, was named after her daughter, Barbara. Guess what her son's name was? Yep, Kenneth or Ken, Barbie and Ken. You know what? We all bring our kids into the mix. I really hope that you've had as much fun today watching along as I've had, especially with all the clothes. It's been just great. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you in the next one.